just need some Triumph stuff. It's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. That was my green lane. That bit I pointed to. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I put the GPZ. Oh, really? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Tally Bally Ho! Well, you see me on a lovely dry slash spitting with rain journey on the South Downs with Phil 480. Woo -woo! He's on his new bike. He hasn't gone public with it yet, but it is a Blue Triumph Scrambler. Very, very nice. Very nice. It's his second bike. He's still got his Kawasaki GPZ 500, which is what he'll use for commuting. And uh, yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Ex demo. He got a good deal for it, so that's good. And uh, he fell in love, as you all know, he fell in love with the Scrambler, with the arrow pipes that he's uh, ridden a few times with now. I'll get some good shots of him later. But it's all been drama today, all drama. Uh, just randomly, I thought I'd pop down here and say hello. And uh, what happened was the uh, on the A3, whilst I was going rather fast in lane three towards Guildford. The spring on the side stand snapped, so the side stand swung down. Didn't hit the floor or anything, that wasn't an issue. What was the issue was, the, of course, the engine cutout switch that is connected to the side stand when uh, the uh, bike goes in gear. Uh, yeah, cut out. So pulled over, AA turned up, gave me some wire, and we wired it up. The trouble is, every time I now stop to leave the motorcycle, such as filling up with fuel or meeting Phil 480 at Whiteways, which is exactly what we just did, I had to unwire it <laughs> to, for it to work as a side stand, you see. A bit of a pain in the bottom, but there we go. These things happen. Uh, so yes, that'll be a warranty claim. The spring of the side stand. It lasted 2,300 miles and four months. Which is a bit shit, let's face it. That's uh, not what you expect from good quality clobber. So yes, here we go, he's got a new scrambler. It hasn't quite done 500 miles, I hope he's seen where I am. Yeah, look at that beauty. Ha <laughs> ha ha, look at that. Yeah, he hasn't put any farkles on it yet. He hasn't put any uh, big exhaust or anything. He said that probably wait until after Christmas, probably. He's got, being a second bike, he's got a while to do all these things. Got a good deal on it, and uh, he just fell in love with the look of the Scrambler. To be fair, he does look good on it. He does look rather good. He does look rather good indeed. He, <laughs> he just needs more Triumph clothing and things. <laughs> there was no one at home, so I could come out for the afternoon, and this bloody side stand spring bloody went, didn't he? Bloody, uh, uh, there, rhubarb. So a few things of note. One, key tags. I am getting some key tags. They're going to be black with silver lettering. One side saying Tally Bally Ho and the other side saying Captain Rambunctious. Uh, so far, it's uh, with a company called Moto Loot. I'm buying them all outright to start with, 50 of them, and then selling them probably on eBay because that worked really well with my patches. And then um, see how the demand is if they all go. Uh, Moto Loot will put them on their website. but. Moto Loot is really there for the likes of Spicy and the Baron and the American chaps with far more subscribers than I, so we shall see, we shall see, see how good they are. It's a bit of a punt, but lots of people have said they'd like them, so I'm going on good faith for that. But uh, this gives you a good idea of, ah, very good. There's a pub, I think. There's a pub there, pub. Thank you, Phil. Pub. Good, good. Uh, so uh, it's kind of spitting. It's not, you know, it's not brilliant, but uh, Phil's taking me on a nice little jaunt around the countryside. Very nice indeed. Whee! I'm not going to come on the inside of him on a lefter. <laughs> that would be stupid. <laughs> stupid captain. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't done a ride for a while. I haven't done a vlog for a while. I've got loads of videos to edit. I've got a, a Triumph Trophy review i finally reviewed that uh, someone wanted me to ride it and i thought oh, it's a bloody big boring bike why would i want to do that uh so yes that's going to be edited at some point uh, it's probably been about five or six weeks since i last 
released a video. Uh, I've got a ride out with Phil 480 when he last rode the Scrambler from about three or four weeks ago. He's posted his video of it and I put a link to it on my Captain Rambunctious Facebook page. Um, and yeah, I've got, I've got my version to do, um, which I still haven't done. So, um, look at that nice bike. Look at that lovely bike. Look at that lovely bike. He just needs some Triumph stuff. It's nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. That was my green lane. That bit I pointed to. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I took the GPZ. Oh, really? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whee! Well, this weather isn't brilliant. I mean, it's only spotting, spitting, spotting, spraying. It's a light shower, really. The only issue I've got with this sort of weather is the fact that I cleaned my bike this morning. And uh, it's whether it becomes heavy enough for there to be spray, which gets all over my exhaust pipes and my bottom. Which exhaust pipe you're talking about? Ha ha ha. But also, uh, my wallet and phone are in my jacket, which is not waterproof. And I, st I have my Krieger bum bag, uh, which is fully waterproof. So I'd have to stop to put my phone and wallet in to that. So it's all, all in all, it's a bit of a bugger, but yeah, we're just doing a nice little loop around White Ways because I don't know these roads at all. And after coming all this way to see Mr. 480, it's uh, nice to see. Oh, look at this pretty bridge. Pretty bridge. Hello, pretty bridge. That's a nice sluice. Nice sluice. Thank you, Peugeot. Bloody French shit cars. I had a Peugeot. 307 SW station wagon slash estate bollocks. Had it for three years. In that three years, I spent £3,000 on different things on it breaking. What a load of bollocks. My dad's BMW, he's had for 12 years and he spent £1,500 on it other than servicing. Shocking! Bloody shocking. So, guess what? I now own a BMW. <laughs> ah, call me a big man's willy or a bloody minded wanker, whatever you call it, but. Uh, I try, like riding motorbikes, I try to change the ethos of the public uh, and their thinking of stereotypical BMW drivers or motorbike riders with the conscientious way I go about my travel. <laughs> Come on, Phil! Give it some sunshine! <laughs> yeah, he's leaning quite well. Look, we. Phil. Go on, Phil. Yeah, use it. Use it. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that lean. Whoa. Come on, sunshine. Get it over. Whoa. Go on. Go on. You can do it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hello. Woohoo. 30. Fuck. Whoops. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered where he'd gone. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> Where's he gone? Oh, he's bugging off. <laughs> oh. Whee! Well, that tightened. Oh, I do like these roads. These are brilliant roads. Splendid stuff, splendid. Oh, you got some lean on there, sir. Well held, well held. God, these are brilliant roads. Why don't I live somewhere like this? Now, you see, he can't go over 4,000 revs, you see, and he doesn't want to overstress the old engine either because he's running it in. He's only done about 250 miles on it, so he's got to be very careful. Whereas I've got the full range of my mighty engine. Oh, look, bicyclists. God, this is quite a corner. Whee! See, that would be more fun if you knew nothing was definitely coming in front of you. Oh, the rain is starting to be a bit heavier. I do apologise if my lens is getting... Yeah, look at this. Look at this. 
Oh, such poise, such lean. Whee! Look at that beautiful bike. Oh, it's really hissed it, dude, no. Bollocks. Look at him, look at him on a scrambler. Isn't he brilliant? Beautiful bike. Look at that. Oh, I miss that engine. Until I'm on this, and then I don't. Oh! Go on, son. Give it, son. You can go. Go on. Go on. Give it some welly. And there he is, looking very comfortable on his new steed. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Good salute, sir. Good salute. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, this is White Ways. It's where uh, Phil 480 uh, nearly, <laughs> nearly crashed when his brake galloper got loose. <laughs> it's looking a lot emptier than it was earlier. The rain must have had something to do with that. Look at him on tippy tippy toes. Tippy tippy toes. <laughs> I just because you'll have forgotten the side stand and off it goes. <laughs> uh, very good fun as always. Good to see you. And you. Um, and hopefully see you soon. Yes. Oh, you should have done a rimmer. Yes. Full double rimmer. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Take care. Well, unless anything else happily comes up later, tally bally ho, thanks for watching, and goodbye from Phil480. <laughs> and it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Filtering, filtering, filtering along. Filtering, filtering, this is my filtering song. Filtering, filtering on the M25. Filtering, filtering, I hope I stay alive. Well, this has turned out shit. <laughs> oh, bugger. Oh, well, at least my trousers are waterproof. <laughs> my jacket isn't. <laughs> Oh, buggery, buggery, buggery. Bugger it all to buggeration. Buggery, boo, back, 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 buggery, 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 back, back, buggery, buggery, back, back, buggery, 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 back, back, buggery, buggery, buggery. Oh, my giddy aunt. Oh, would you look at all that spray. It's all going through my vents on my jacket. Bums, bums, bums. Bye.